Hey and welcome to the first video in a new series of videos that I'll be doing here on my channel called the strange phone series which is a series of videos where I focus on a specific feature or design characteristic of a specific phone uh, which is strange or unusual and we go over all the reasoning behind it its functionality and everything like that. I'm compiling it into a short series of uh, short series of videos, so where the videos will be usually uh, under 10 minutes, so hopefully, and uh, that makes it easier to make. And also, uh, we can focus exactly on the specific feature or design characteristic instead of having to go over the full review in a, a usual retro style sense that I do in my other videos. We still will be covering those uh, in the retro style review, but in this series, we'll be emphasizing on that weird or strange feature or design and we'll be discussing that only. We'll not be covering the camera, the OS, nothing. We'll be not covering all of that. We'll be only covering the strange feature or design or anything. Also, I want to take the time to point out that for the next two weeks-ish, I will be not releasing full-length uh, long videos as uh, my exams are coming up and uh, this is uh, basically uh, uh, the first phase of my capstone project, my engineering capstone project. So we are ending the design phase uh, at uh, the beginning of May and I have my other exams as well. So I'll be really, really busy. Uh, so we'll be not doing full end videos. Instead, we'll be doing videos like this and the ringtone videos, shorts videos, stuff like that. But after May 12th, I think, we'll be able to get back to the longer videos. However, stay tuned for the shorter style videos here on this channel. I'm also a bit burnt out after doing, uh, especially that uh, the Motorola Riser Z12 video, this one over here, uh, which took a long time to make. So I'm a bit burnt out after that video as well, but we, we still will be covering shorter videos and I'm happy to bring you this new series of shorter videos featuring uh, these uh, special phones with strange features or design characteristics. So bear with me here, uh, come May 12th, we'll be going back to the longer videos, but until then, will be sticking to less than 10 minute videos. This video is will be a bit long, of course, because I'm explaining everything to you. But uh, as uh, as you've seen before, most of the shorter videos uh, will be around the 10 minute mark. So yeah, so we are starting this series off, the new Strange Phone series off with the Motorola Crush from 2010. Now the Motorola Crush is an interesting device as you can see here. And as the uh, thumbnail and title show, uh, show you, um, it is an upside down design phone. As you can see, it it looks off. It, it does not look normal. The buttons are at the top, the Motorola logo is down here and it's facing the correct side. Uh, it's facing the correct side down, but also the icons are at the top there alongside the buttons. And even though the buttons are at the top, they're facing the right way down. Uh, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, so uh, it, it is definitely a confusing looking phone. The back doesn't look anything weird it looks pretty simple at the back uh but in this video we'll be discussing the reason uh why they chose this this design and we'll be going over this design and everything you need to know about this uh phone with respect to that design i'll be doing the full retro style review on this phone uh, after may 12th hopefully or if i ever get time before that maybe i'll be able to creep a video in but we shall see before that but most probably it'll be after may 12th so stay tuned for that retro style review video as well and as usual, before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this new series and this uh, phone, especially the Motorola Crush. Uh, it's also quite a rare phone. So uh, let me know what you think about this phone down in the description, uh, down in the comments below. And also don't forget to check out my social media down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord and Twitter. And now let's jump right into this video. So for a quick bit of history, the Motorola Crush was released in 2010 on the US cellular network and is a CDMA phone. So it does not have a uh, SIM card slot. It's complete CDMA with the... Uh there's the uh, welcome note and there you go, US cellular. Uh, <clears throat> so it's a full CDMA phone uh, without a SIM card slot uh, and it has a built-in phone number. Uh, US cellular is still active. They're not popular at all, but they're still active and they do still, I think, have their CDMA, CDMA networks open, but uh, don't quote me on that. I don't know much about US cellular. Uh, this phone is 
quite rare. I wouldn't say extremely, extremely rare. It's not like Nokia N92 levels of rare or I don't know. Uh, there's another phone sitting over there, the Motorola W7. Now that's extremely rare and we'll be covering that soon. This is not extremely rare, but it is rare. I got this one. It was the last one in a lot of these phones. Um, that a seller was selling for about, oh, here's the original listing so you can see the price, I forgot. Um, he had a few of them and this one was the last one. I waited for a while on buying them, but I did, I kind of forgot, I eventually bought them. So decently priced uh, and there were others as well. So that's why I say it's not that rare. Uh, he had others for sale, other people bought them. Um, but those were the, the, that was the only uh, used condition one on eBay. Um, the, there was another one which I also bought uh, this one, which was for parts, as you can see, the display is cracked, but the phone works. Uh, so those were the last two on eBay. I essentially bought the last two on eBay. So as of now, it's not available on eBay as of me uh, releasing this video, but maybe in the future more will come up. And that other phone is, uh, it's actually in my town. However, uh, today's Sunday, so it's not going to be delivered until tomorrow. But I did buy that one as well. That was also about $10 or something. Uh, so decently rare. And uh, it wasn't a phone that sold in the millions. So it, you can expect uh, it to be decently rare uh, on that note. But as you can see, the design of this phone is completely off. I was making a few jokes on this phone on my Discord server, by the way, which you should definitely consider checking out uh, about this phone. The, the designers of this phone being completely drunk when designing it, uh, like um, thinking that is a good idea to basically make a phone upside down usually when you see this phone you think oh okay these are the buttons they're upside down but okay and then you turn the phone on and then the whole thing is upside down we realize wait a minute we use it like this the microphones at the bottom the speakers at the top there and uh, then is where the confusion starts so a quick go around of the phone we have the lock button over here and we have the power slash uh, sleep wake you can use this as the wake button as well and uh, we have the ear speaker over here and we have the main speaker hidden under here which also fires from here but there's also a sort of speaker grill like thing over here but this does i haven't got this to work this phone is the os is very very touchy it's not it's not that great it's not polished it's a proprietary os which i couldn't find the name to if i find it i'll put it up here uh if not i won't and uh, we'll we'll try and di dive more deeper into the os of this phone in the full retro style review but this is not about the full uh retro style review this is about the weird design of this phone so we'll look into that later but it's a strange os nevertheless so that's up top there and then the display as you can see it's a pretty normal size display um I'm not going to get into any of the specs and stuff again as usual uh it's about about three inches we'll say i'm not getting into the specs um and then uh as you can see with the layout there uh the new text dial pad calls and phone book at the top there instead of them being quick access at the bottom instead you got to do that now the phone is it's the phone is small as you can see it's a tiny phone let's uh grab an n8 so a commonly seen phone now this is the n8 prototype but uh, it's the same size as the N8. As you can see, it is a relatively small phone. Um, let us bring an iPhone 12 Pro Max in there. Of course, uh, it is dwarfed by the 12 Pro Max. Uh, but it's a relatively small phone and it's, it's made for single-handed use. And I see, the, I see the point here. It's your thumb. They put these at the top here to be thumb accessible. You, doing this is a bit harder than doing that. So what I, what my reasoning is here, they put everything at the top here because it's thumb accessible. This is the thumb phone, I'd call it. Uh, so it is a phone built for you to mainly to be used uh, single-handedly uh, with your thumb uh, and not to, not for you to move your finger down like that. Maybe for people with uh, smaller hands, uh, this would be great, but uh, definitely a thumb access phone because it's it's harder to do this than do this you have full access uh to all the main stuff over here you have your power plus wake button plus your lock button which also is your wake button you can unlock it easily like that and you can 
use your phone book and all that stuff easily from there now if you want to go into the main menu you can just tap like that and you go into the main menu then you can start using both fingers because you need to go down here but i that's my reasoning as to why this phone has this strange upside down ish design is because it's designed for single-handed use with your thumb on either of your hands so of course it's am it should be ambidextrous um and the bottom is not really populated with anything interesting that's because it your, your thumb is easy access here at the top and that is my reasoning as to why this phone uh, has this awkward ish design with uh, the buttons and stuff at the top the bottom is completely bare as you can see just the, the vaguely dull Motorola logo it may have been brighter earlier but it's faded away over time we have the microphone over there as well everything else about this phone is pretty normal it's a pretty normal phone it has a quick voice note button over there uh, or voice recorder button thing voice memos whatever you want to call it you have your micro sd expansion over there this thing has a camera button as well because uh, the touch doesn't work with the camera so you have to press the camera button to take a photo that's all for the retro style review so stay tuned for that micro usb volume rockers headphone jack 3.5 millimeter weird cutout uh, extension for the speaker unnecessary ex unnecessary cutout there's no i don't think there's a speaker underneath there couldn't get it to work but we don't know i mean is it dual stereo speakers i don't know i i couldn't get it to work but later on in the retro style review we'll see about that motorola logo no flash single camera as well <clears throat> we're not going to get into the oh hit the camera sorry about that we're not going to get into detail about the camera itself but yeah that is my reasoning behind this odd design and a lot of people when i posted this uh, posted this online on instagram and vintage mobile phones and my discord server and also the vintage mobile phones discord server people were really interested in uh, why this phone looks so weird i showed this to one of my friends and he, he just paused for a while and he's like my brain hurts take that away from me <laughs> so uh yeah he actually had a brain freeze when he saw this he was trying to process what's what what goes where which button faces where and why are the menu buttons at the top so uh yeah it is a phone definitely uh that will confuse people but i get the reasoning as to why they put the stuff up here it's your it's it's the thumb phone i'll call it the thumb phone but it also doesn't look too bad when you turn it upside down now that's a nice looking phone it looks pretty interesting it's got two buttons like that no home button it's got a big forehead that also quite looks nice i wouldn't mind using this but yeah it's an interesting phone and like i said it's relatively rare uh, and i bought the last two ones on ebay so you'll have to keep a lookout if you want to get one of these they're these like i said decently relatively rare because they were not sold in la uh sold in uh, vast numbers on the u.s cellular network the u.s cellular network itself is not that popular so uh you can understand why but nevertheless a great addition to my collection i can't wait till the other one shows up as well that one's the, with the damaged display i'll include that one in the full retro style review video as well so that it gets some coverage as well but it's exactly the same phone so definitely stay to uh, stay tuned for the full retro style review where we go over the entire phone from top to bottom features history everything and uh, as usual i hope you enjoyed this video and my reasoning as to why they chose this strange design and a look at one of the more weirder phones that i've ever seen Seen released by Motorola, uh, which is saying a lot because the Motorola backflip is sitting over here, the backwards flipping phone. So we're going to cover this in detail again. I did a video on this about two years ago, but I want to cover it in detail again in this uh, in this playlist of videos. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably come next week. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual thanks for watching and if you really like this video don't forget to hit that like button down below and also leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this phone in the comment section below uh what your thoughts are basically and also don't forget to check out uh also don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button to get notified whenever i upload a new video i'm on instagram discord and twitter and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video